In this video, we're going to be installing custom recovery on the Samsung Galaxy S4. We rooted it yesterday, and I can link to that description in the video below. You'll need to have root in order to install custom recovery the way we're going to. You don't have to have root if you flash custom recovery via Odin. That's just something to keep in mind, but this is going to be the easiest way as you've already rooted it using the computer, and at this point, you don't have to hook up to the computer again. You can install custom recovery using an app and then you can reboot in recovery, you can back up your ROM and etc. To show you that I have stock recovery, I'm actually gonna have Goo Manager and I'm going to tell it to reboot into recovery and it should take me into um, the, the recovery that comes with the device. We'll find out here in just a second. Samsung Galaxy S4, recovery booting, And we are in stock recovery. We do not have custom recovery. There's all the options right there. You can actually uh, like apply an update from your uh, from ADB, apply an update from an external uh, SD card because it has that you know expendable storage. And then you can you know it's just all basic stuff. You can't do anything advanced. So. This video is going to show you how to install custom recovery, and with that, you can back up your ROM. You can install a new ROM like Sinjamon 10.1, which yes, there's going to be Sinjamon 10.1 for the S4, regardless of what rumors said, and also just apply like zips that do other things. I'll go ahead and change the camera so you don't longer have to stare at my ugly face. One important thing to note is that when you install custom recovery, you cannot get OT updates anymore. It's just not gonna go through. It's gonna try to reboot into recovery, but you're gonna have custom recovery instead of stock recovery, and it's just not going to work. So if you're wanting to apply official OTAs, then I don't recommend installing custom recovery. There is a way to install stock recovery after you've installed custom recovery, and I'll do a separate video on that for those of you that want custom recovery, but really wanna apply the latest updates. And for you guys that don't want to install custom recovery, I highly recommend opening up your Play Store pressing the little search button and searching for an app called OTA Root Keeper right here. Just install it. And then we're gonna go ahead and press on it. The first time you open it, it's gonna ask for root permission. Just press grant if you're using like SuperSU or allow if you're using SuperUser or uh, if you're using this SuperUser by Couch, then you'll press allow like right here. And then there'll be a little button right here that says protect root. Once you do that, if you apply an official OTA from Samsung, once it reboots, you will not have root access. So once it applies the update, go back to your app drawer and you'll notice that none of your apps are getting root permission anymore. So open up the Voodoo OTA Root Keeper and there'll be a little button that says restore root. That will get you back to rooted and that's how you do that. Now to install custom recovery and also how to update custom recovery, it's really Really simple, there's this app on the Play Store called G-O-O-M Goo Manager. It looks just like that right there. You'll open it the very first time, it's gonna ask for root permission. If it does not pop up asking for root permission, you don't have root or something went wrong and you need to check your root. I do have a video on how to root, so I will link to that video in the description below because you will have to have root in order to install custom recovery using this app. And this is by far the easiest way of doing this. You can use Odin in flash custom recovery, which does not require root as long as your bootloader is unlocked, which the Sprint one, the bootloader is not locked. So all you do is open up Goo Manager, Make sure you grant it root permission. You only have to do it once if you press remember always. And then uh, I'm logged into my account because I actually donated like $10 a long time ago to Goo Manager. That way I don't have to wait for downloads. But you'll just press menu, install OpenScript Recovery, press yes, and then you'll just look right here and it says 2500 is the latest version and also that's the model of our phone. I wanna make it very clear that if you have 2500, you do not have to press yes. If you know that you have 2400, or if you're not sure which one you have, then go ahead and press yes. If you if you didn't donate to them or pay or the fee or whatever, then you'll get a little countdown from 10 to zero and you'll have to wait. Now I don't have to do that because I, I donated and it's gonna download this pretty small file and it's going to automatically flash it. Goo is currently in the middle of 
up like moving racks or whatever buying new equipment etc so their downloads are not as quick as they normally are but that's because they're moving to la or something i'll put a i'll try to remember to put a link if i forget remind me if you want to see it but they, they posted on good I actually you can just open up your web browser type in good I am and you'll see it there if you don't just click the blogs button and you'll see their recent article about it that's just why their downloads are kind of slow because they push out like terabytes and terabytes of data each day etc you can read more about it if you want to all right so the downloads almost done you don't have to do anything it's literally just gonna like pop up a little dot right there installing recovery and it was successful it's installed so you can press reboot recovery and press yes and it should take you into custom recovery this time instead of stock recovery mm. and with custom recovery you can install custom roms you can back up your current rom uh install a new rom if you don't like the new rom you can restore your old rom and it's like a complete image of your phone like you don't you're, you don't you're not missing a single app a si anything at all so there we are we have twerp 2500 the latest as of this video on our samsung galaxy s4 so we can go here to backup we can ch click this right here and choose micro sd card i don't have one in there or you can hook up a little flash drive like i've done in a couple of my videos like my htc1 video where i installed rom i used a flash drive same exact concept plug in your flash drive to the micro usb otg cable press on the micro usb otg it'll tell you how much storage you have left on it and you etc so we only have internal storage at the moment and then we can just choose what we want to back up enable compression no i said enable compression and then swipe to back up and that's going to make a backup of our rom now there are stock images like like you can plug your phone in go into fast boot use odin and completely flash your phone back to stock which i will also do a video on that for those of you that apply a rom and etc root permission seems to have been lost what oh i have super user by chain by a uh, couch you know what i i like super su much better so i'm gonna go ahead and just do that so there we go we have custom recovery we can apply roms like i'm gonna do a video on signs my 10.1 they are making it for the s4 i can link to the articles also there is another update for the galaxy s4 that makes it towards you have to have a custom kernel to because it like blocks root or something. I'll link that article in the description below. So now in our app drawer, we should no longer see super user. We should, well, we do see super user. What in the world? So did it not install super SU? Okay, whatever. It is what it is. I'll keep using super user. I don't care. So yeah, that's how you install custom recovery. One thing I highly recommend doing is every couple months, or at least make sure every time you're about to do an Android backup and install a new ROM, please open up Goo Manager, press Menu, install Strict Recovery, press Yes. And if that says like 2501 or 2600, please make sure you press Yes. It'll start downloading it and you'll always have the latest recovery. It's not going to inform you that an update is available. At least it doesn't right now and it hasn't yet done that. So just go in there and check every once in a while. Make sure you have the latest recovery. If you're not, like I said, if you're not sure which version you have installed, go ahead and press yes. It's not going to hurt to wait a little bit and have it install the very latest recovery. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. If you don't, you will seriously miss out on a lot of awesome videos coming very soon. Galaxy S4 versus HTC One. Galaxy S4 versus S3 or Note 2. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I got a lot of videos to do. I, I, I could do two videos a day, five days a week for months. And I still wouldn't catch up on everything that I wanna do, everything I've put off, all the videos on my external hard drive that haven't been edited yet, or I edit them halfway and then a new phone would come out or a new ROM would come out and I had to put it to the side and it just never got finished. I have so many videos to do. So please make sure you subscribe. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.